Hello there, my name is Rachel. The first time you see my channel, I use sort of view cartoon series, anime series, so something completely random. And today we're going to talk about a new series from Netflix called Battle Kitty. Now, the subscribe the whole show is basically a click and point kind of game, but it's a story link in this show. Now, what I mean is, you follow two main leads, Kitty and Ford, who escape from prison to go into the island of champions. This island have this sort of royal kind of decree whoever wins becomes the champion and that's the thing what Battle Kitty wants she or they want to prove themselves they are the champions and basically the whole thing is kind of one big ass reference of video games after that you have uh, Zelda references you have Street Fighter references you have Mario Brothers references in fact this is one giant reference to Mario Brothers except you have, have a plumber you have a little kitty who who is a cute and adorable trying to survive this sort of area. Better yet, the whole humor or whole show give you vibes of uh, Adventure Time. That it's good, but at the same time, it's not really. It's a type of show that is a hit and miss. That I recommend watching at least a couple episodes that you get the feel if you maybe like this. Because you have this moment to be really great. You also have this more to be a little dry. Like, the comedy doesn't really snub high. It's like, it almost gets there sometimes, but sometimes it just doesn't land the joke. It best of maybe ruins the show a little bit. It's like a hit or miss. Especially this show has a lot of gay vibes. I mean, it really is into the gay vibe kind of feeling. But once more, does it ruin that in the show? No, it's it's fun. It's enjoyable. You do like the positivity and all the weird random things they have to do to survive this arena. Especially you do have a Vavlin behind the scenes of manipulating people doing sort of horrible thing. Especially Zaza, the queen who is especially a pop cell princess who is a warrior and trying to lead her legacy of her mother that she is the top queen of everything but she sort of disappeared and you see that Zaza sort of affects her in some way that how she sort of means spirited doesn't trust anyone when she focus on me I'm the best but at the same time she don't know she's sort of hiding the, her emotions because she doesn't need to show them because she feels she'd be weak but on top of all this better kitty sees her mother telling her you are the champion and Battle Kitty like, okay, I'm the champion, I'm trying to prove myself. But once more, you don't know that this being is real or not. You don't know Battle Kitty is just going crazy. But at the same time, they do point out someone behind the scenes are basically manipulating some things just for Zaza and a Battle Kitty. So you can find out at the very end what actually is going on. That itself didn't actually grab your attention, but of course it takes a little while to actually start the main story. The first couple of 40 minutes is basically building characters, building relationships, and building the idea of this world. Because some of the worlds are kind of interesting, like they're the interest world that you have to go in and try to prove yourself. And also make mockery of video games like, oh how easy it is, and you find out some people can never pass that for some pair of reason. You also have another reference of the gambling sort of area, like you posted not the gamble trying to control yourself but somehow the DLC also get you saying it's okay maybe one DLC maybe two before you know you spend all your money like why I keep doing to myself once more they do know they video game references but all of that do I recommend it kinda I still said before let watch a little bit watch a couple of minutes if you like it you enjoy if you don't like it you probably it's not for you i really not got nothing else to say just one question do you like it do you hate it tell me down below let me know i got nothing else to say just thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day bye